Alright, what's good everybody? It's your man Akeem, back on the scene, and welcome to today's vlog. I got a handful of games to talk about for today's and tomorrow's bowl games. Beginning with the Champ Sports Bowl between NC State and West Virginia. I'm going to have to go with the Mountaineers in this one. Geno Smith, Tavon Austin, and Noel Devine, what a great trio on, on offense. Plus, their defense allows just over 17 points a game, so I have to go with the Mountaineers. But there is one key player in the NC State team that you have to watch, and that's quarterback Russell Wilson. He struggled this season compared to last year, but he is still a good quarterback. I have him going very late in the draft, but if he stays his senior year, which I advise him to do, he could develop to become an even better passer inside the pocket and learn more of a pro-style offense. So I think he should stay his senior year, but I'm going to go with West Virginia in this game. They just have a better team to me. The next game to watch is the NC is the N Sight Bowl between Missouri and Iowa. I have to go with the Tigers in this game. I think Blaine Gabbard has to have a good game. He's a good passer and he is very accurate. There's only one thing that Iowa has to do in order to win, and that's penetrate the line of scrimmage on defense. If they get to Gabbard quickly and sack him and and make him hurry and rush passes, then he, they have a chance of winning. But he pass, but Gabbard passes pretty quickly. He's very accurate, and he knows exactly where his receivers will be at the right time. I have to go with Missouri because of that. The military bowl is between my Marylanders, Maryland, against East Carolina. I'm going to go with Maryland, the Terps, to win this game. Torrey Smith, their receiver, he's a dual threat. He can run the ball and receive well. In the season finale against NC State, he had over 200 yards receiving. He's a great pros prospect, and he and I think he's going to have a good game. I'm going to go with the Terps. The next game to watch is the Texas Bowl between Baylor and Illinois. This is a tough one because I really like running back Michael LeShore of Illinois, but Robert Griffin resurrected the Baylor team. This is the first time going to a bowl game in a long time. This was, this was Robert Griffin's comeback year. He tore his ACL early last season and came back and had a great season, taking his team to a bowl. So I'm going to have to go with Baylor because I just think they have enough magic to win and have more to talk about for next season. The last game to watch is the Alamo Bowl between Arizona and Oklahoma State. Usually in the Alamo Bowl, it's the Big Ten versus the Big 12. But this year, they p replaced the Big, the Big Ten team with a Pac-10 team, which is kind of weird. But anyway... One game, one player to watch is Justin Blackman, their receiver. He's just a sophomore, and I think everybody, all eyes will be on him. I'm going to have to go with Oklahoma State because they have an explosive offense. Not only Blackman at the receiving court, but they also have a great running back in Kendall Hunter, who was a finalist for the uh, Doak Walker Award, given to the nation's best running back. Plus, quarterback Randy Wheaton surprised everybody in replacement with Zach Robinson. He had a great year, and he, is my, he was my second team all Big Ten. All Big 12 as a passer. So I'm going to have to go with Oklahoma State. Arizona's a good team, but they've been struggling this season, and they've been on and off. They have been in, they've been inconsistent for me. So I have to go with Oklahoma State. I'll catch you on, next, on my next couple of other videos talking about the next bowl games to watch. Take care. I'm Akeem McCall, and be easy.